Hi, welcome to... No. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you're ready, yeah. Who's introduced? I will. Hey guys, <laughs> welcome to <laughs> welcome to Why Is Harry Crying? You should introduce it. I usually do, but you took the lead, and I didn't want to stamp on your your lead. Masculine energy. Really good masculine energy. <laughs> yeah. I've just got that term in my head because Chloe said it earlier. Yeah. About you. Hmm. Did she say it or La- is it lack of? Oh, she said you have a lack of masculine <laughs> energy. Apparently, I don't know how to control dogs. You don't. You absolutely <laughs> don't. I don't know if you can see the dog in the video. There's a dog running around. Oh, God. Please. No, sorry, just ignore it. Just got to ignore it. I'm not very good at concentrating when something's happening. And now there's a dog. And a siren. And a siren. I don't know why. Absolute chaos today. Should I shut the window and start uh, again? Because there's noise coming in from outside. I think it's fine. Is it a big deal? We're fine. Just stop panicking. <laughs> I think it's weird because we've we've had someone sat with us this whole time and then now we don't. What do you mean? Do you know what I mean? Like we we had, we're not used to it just being the two of us. It hasn't just been the two of us in a really long time. Well, the last one was, wasn't it? No, Bobby was there. And before oh that, yeah, Sean was there. Okay. We haven't just had it the two of us. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what are you making <laughs> it worse by just saying <laughs> it like that? But does that what does that make well, you I feel saw weird? Well, I you last week and it was just the two of us. It was fine. We had a chat. Yeah, but that was business. <laughs> <laughs> we had a business and meeting. And this is what? This isn't business. This <laughs> no, is business. this is this is fun. Well, it's good to be back. Mm. What have you been doing? I've got a new podcast. Oh, stop bragging about your podcast. Please listen to my new podcast. Uh, it'll be coming out soon on the BBC. No one cares. Yeah, they, they will. Uh, no, I don't think it's out on Halloween. This is out on Halloween. <laughs> oh my god, you've got a rival podcast that's going to come out on the same day. It's not my podcast. It's um, it's a podcast with Ishan Akbar and Nim Adedra. We're doing it. It's about you wouldn't understand, but it's about being Asian. Why wouldn't I understand? Because it's called the "But Where Are You Really From" podcast. Oh, Canterbury. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, but where are you really from? <laughs> Um, Faversham. <laughs> ah, <there you go. laughs> it's, not, yeah, it's like I say Canterbury, on, but it's actually How Faversham. Well, it's kind of in between, but nobody knows of Faversham, so I say Fav- I say Canterbury. But you grew up in Canterbury. See, I could come on the podcast. Yeah, you could. It would be very interesting <laughs> to hear the difference yeah. between Faversham. Well, and I went to school in Ashford originally, and then I thought you went, went to school, school near in Canterbury where I went to University. I did, yeah. But first, I went to school in um in Ashford, so I could be a guest just auditioning Ashford. right now. Been there, yeah. good cinema. Yeah, Ashford. Yeah, shopping yeah, yeah. Center. Very good. No, I used to go to the oh, cinema there's good in Ashford. Oh, sh- good shopping um, centre actually. Yeah. Yeah, we used to drive to the cinema in Ashford Did from you? Canterbury. Wow, long way to go when there's a cinema in Canterbury. It's much nicer, much more screens. Don't know if you can hear the tram outside. <laughs> I've been trying to make this podcast much more professional in terms of like the audio and video quality, and I think video looks all right now, but audio, I've absolutely fucked it. You're being scuppered at every turn. I've been scuppered at every turn. I bought a load of equipment, realised I haven't got the right adapter, so it's just lying in a heap. Yeah, we were meant to have things attached here. You got the so wrong ones. We were meant to have to headphones. Nice you got the wrong headphones. To, we just spent an hour setting up a load of shit that didn't work, so thanks for that. Nice to do that I've on a, a Sunday when hand. it's beautiful. Yeah, I know. You can't see there's, there's, a, there's a, a dog, dog in, a underneath. There's a small dog in my hand. Very small dog. She's. I think they're, um, they're drawn to people with pain. Um, I think she's a dog that um, she's there to... Um, <laughs> She's like an emotional pain. support dog, and she's a, she's drawn to people that. I think she just likes being have stroked. pain. No, no, no. That's why she's gone to you because she she's knows that you're. You. <laughs> she knows she's that you're in you. pain. She's facing you. She's and not being a compass. By me. She's not an emotional support compass like where diviner. she points with her head at the person in pain. Like, you know, water divining. No. So when you point a rod around, see if it finds water. That's what she is. Yeah, see if she can find pain. She Actually, found it. What are you hiding? Me. Yeah. Everyone's hiding pain. What are you talking about? Oh, I'm not hiding any pain. All my no, pain is on the I table. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knows all my pain. Everyone knows when you're in pain. <laughs> um, what pain are you in? Um, I've got my, like the back of my neck. Uh, no like emotional pain. Oh, no, none. You do have emotional pain. No, and I one don't. day we'll find it. Why? You're nervous. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell people my secrets. That's all I'm I saying. don't know your secrets because yeah, you won't. But you just said secrets. you just said everybody's got hidden emotional pain. I tell my and best then friends my secrets. Who? <laughs> what do you mean who? Who do you tell? I only tell some people about who my best friends are. I think that as well. 
case they find them. So I'm not even allowed to know who your best friends are. I'm not only not one of your best friends, I'm not allowed to know who they are. I have close friends. I don't know if I have a best friend. Wow. Do you have a best friend? Yeah. Don't say me. (laughs) Don't say (laughs) me. You're just, you just <laughs> want to say me to annoy me. No. Who's your best friend? <laughs> <laughs> so gross. Why is it gross? No, it's not gross. You have to put yourself on the table and ask someone to be their best friend. That's why I learned when I was seven, you have to ask. No, you don't have to ask. <laughs> do you want me to this officially ask you? This is an interaction you do need to watch on the video just to see the way she's looking at me. It's grim. Do you want me to officially ask this you This is the pose you have when <laughs> people say, just be natural. And you've just got this grimace on your face. <laughs> like this weird smile. Do you want me to officially ask? How do you want me to ask you to be my best friend? Well, no, because I don't know how to... I find it hard to say no to people. Great. It's going to be easy then. Right, go on then. And now I feel nervous. Why? In case I'll say no? That I've, yeah. already, I've already said I'll say no. I don't know if you will. How, well, I'm going to have to ask you in a way that you can't say no. What does it involve, the, the role? Um, accompanying me to doctor's no, trips. No, no, it isn't. <laughs> You've got a husband for that. <laughs> Even he doesn't go with you to the doctors. Come with me to doctor's trips. Um, I, I'm only best friends with adults. I'm an adult. But you need you need help to get around. No, I don't. I get places. Oh, well, actually, that's what I'm going to tell you about why I cried this week. Um, Was it a car trip? You, I, I had the most annoying journey with you when I drove you to Angel the other day. Why? Because you kept telling me what to do. I never. You wouldn't you what drop to do. me where I. You were so close. You had to go out of your way by literally two minutes, and you refused. No, I'd have to go round a really busy circuit. No. And no. I wanted to get to my gig. No, I realised, but you did carry my bag for me. But then I realised you only carried my bag because it was literally the most practical decision because it was going to get there faster. Yeah. That's the only reason you carried it. Yeah. But then uh, Evelyn said she saw you and you were really out of breath. From carrying the bag because I was smoking at the same time and walking <laughs> uphill. She and said you were wheezing. Rich from you, <laughs> you were wheezing you're at, quite I heavily. I was out of breath going up a hill. That's slow Car- she Carrying walks. a bag, it was quite a heavy bag. What's wrong with being out of breath? There's nothing wrong with that. What do you mean? Well, it suggests you're unhealthy and that you might be sick. Even the healthiest. So you'll need me to go on doctor's appointments with you, so I wouldn't. And my doctor is a f- is a FaceTime a doctor. That's ridiculous. What do you mean? That's ridiculous. I can make a doctor's appointment now, and in an hour I can have a FaceTime appointment with the doctor. Oh my God, I haven't told you about my doctor's appointment. What happened when I went to the doctor's? Do you not want to hear about? Oh, yes, sorry. So I can just book an appointment, and they'll say doctor available in like two hours, and then they'll phone me on like um, video chat. Wow. And then they'll be like, all right, let's have a look at your leg, and I'll have to aim aim the camera down at my leg. Yeah. But do do you think that's good or bad? I think that's really good. But I don't like the emphasis that you had on they call me, like as if the doctors need you. No, like no, that's why you like it, because they, they make you feel free, wanted. When they're free. But they're never free, they're doctors. Well, they, f- they have, I have 10 minute slots, with, they have 10 minute slots. But then they, will they have an appointment with you then? Yeah. Like every, it's like any doctor, they see you when they're free. That's yeah, actually like any doctor, they schedule there, appointments. And they, it's 24 hours, so I can do it at like midnight. When do they sleep? Well, they have different doctors. Oh, okay. They're doing different shifts. What are you... I'm trying to understand this for you so that All we right, can tell be closer. Me about your <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to I understand how this app works yeah. so that we're closer. Yeah, so that I, I know now how you go to the doctors. And so you know how I go to the doctors. I imagine I know how you go to the doctor. <laughs> I went to the doctors, hmm. um, started crying, and she did not like it at what, all, and it was really uncomfortable. Why did you cry? I don't know. Oh, because you're worried about what the results were. But no, I don't even know what it was. I just, I think because someone had told me that she was a really good doctor. And right. so I thought she was going to fix all my problems. Oh, but then she was yours. like, no. she was like, you're fine. And then I started crying. <laughs> <laughs> it was so uncomfortable. And then I was like, I'm really sorry that I'm crying. Why have you got your head in your hands? I haven't. I'm just holding my face up. <laughs> What's your face going to do? I'm just holding it up. Okay. Anyway, I was sobbing at her right. and she was she was like very like uncomfortable a bit like you are now like she I'm was trying to she was trying to move away she didn't understand why i was crying yeah why i wouldn't either doctors aren't known for their emotional intelligence yeah that's true they're there to fix you as a, like a machine it's gone wrong you'd be a good doctor then yeah. yeah get it done did you ever think about being a doctor no i did what? <laughs> I did. I thought I could be a doctor, but then, um, but then I didn't have uh, many of the qualifications. Didn't do the right A levels. <laughs> didn't have. Um, I had textiles Dotty. A level. They Stop don't accept our that. Producer, sorry. We had textiles A level, so they don't use that. Textiles, theatre studies, and English. A lit. lot of textiles do get used in doctors' um, 
Work. Sequins so and there's beading. There's a dog caught up in a lot of leaves. Oh my down. god! This <laughs> absolute chaos having a go. dog here today. Yeah, oh if you just get it round her. Oh god. That's it. That's better. Maybe no, it's alright. Um, no, know. she's very sweet. It's actually good she's, to have she'll a distraction. She'll calm down when she's got her bearings. I think. Yeah, she's yeah. just trying like, to get the lay of the land. I did a great burn on you earlier before I got here. Oh with yeah. With Elliot. Mm-hmm. I was saying about this dog because I've met this dog before. Oh yeah. And I said. Your f- your friends or. I said the dog was spoilt and badly behaved. Uh huh. Very much like someone else I know. Okay. Who? And then there was a silence and yep. Elliot said, oh, Harriet. And I was like, yes. Elliot? Yeah. Elliot fell into that trap. No, he... You he laid agreed. the trap. Okay, here we go. <laughs> the dog strangling itself in the lead. Dog strangling itself on the headphone. Right, if you come it's a very come cute here. dog, though. Dotty. Okay. I like how you talk to the dog. What? You just you, you call it by its name a lot. Well, how it's else like is it I imagine, imagine that's how you talk to um like a toddler or something like. Well, how else would you refer to? A well, toddler? because sometimes people like when they talk Alan. to a dog. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah they, when Steve. they talk to a dog or a baby, they get like a baby voice or something. But you're very much like, oh, no, I'm, Dotty, stop. One of my strong principles in life is never to talk in a baby voice to anyone. What about a baby? Never. Uh, no, always talk to it like an adult. What about an old man? Why would I talk to an old man <laughs> in a baby <laughs> no, voice? No, <laughs> sometimes, because old people sometimes turn into babies. No, they don't. It's the circle of life. No, they they become like babies. Into babies. They do. They can't do anything like a baby. Yes, but you don't have to talk to them yes, like a baby because they're adults. They might like it. I don't understand baby talk. I think it's. What disgusting. if somebody wanted to be baby talked to? I wouldn't fucking do it. Really? Yeah, 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 what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what if you met the perfect partner for well, yourself? She, she wouldn't be if she wanted to be talked to in a baby voice. Was Everything was perfect creepy. apart from she said, um, "You have to call me Ittle Whittle, baby, baby." <laughs> <laughs> and then what a conundrum this is. <laughs> she's your perfect partner. You have everything in common and the sex is magnificent, but she says <laughs> Magnificent. <laughs> she says you think. must you must call me Idle Widdle Baby all Baby. All the time or during sex you're talking about? Um all the time and once in front of your friends. Once. <laughs> One time. <laughs> yeah, so they know. <laughs> so they, they know. know they know, yeah. So they know. Uh, no, I wouldn't do that. You would give up the love of no, your no, life. I just wouldn't do that. What? I wouldn't, you wouldn't do speak it. To her in a baby well, voice. she says, then you don't love me. You don't know me. Okay. You fine. don't. If that's a conun- if that's if that's a if that's an ultimatum, I can't believe you just give up on love like this. It's not love, then, is it? It it's is love. She loves you. you. you don't want to. She loves you. <laughs> <laughs> She's just telling you what she needs. <laughs> No one needs that. Why <laughs> she does she needs need that? It. We need to get to the bottom she of that She needs it. Problem. It's a complicated... It's not a problem. Just because that's what she likes, she likes to feel like a baby. Well, I, I'm saying my, I'm saying what <laughs> I need is not to have to ever <laughs> talk in a baby's voice. <laughs> and why won't she accept that about me? But there has to be compromise. Yeah, she so does loads of things for you that <laughs> she doesn't want to do. She You're looks such an idiot. <laughs> she looks at your You're leg. You're such an idiot. She looks at your leg. My leg's fine. She... Clean spiders out of your air conditioning I unit. Can, she does loads of things for you. She just wants what one thing, which is that you call her an itty witty baby, baby. In front of my friends. Yeah, it's not once. Like Only in front once. Of my friends is the fact that I have to do it at all. Only once. I can but do twice that. in a sexual I'll way. I'll do it once, but I won't do it ever again. Okay. But then you have to do it sexually in front of your friends. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so I have to have sex yeah. in front of my friends. <laughs> yeah, okay. call her any do Not a problem. <laughs> okay, great. Well. Okay. Wow. Well, we've we've learned a lot. Um. You've learned um, that I want conversations over and done with. <laughs> no, sometimes. we learned that you will give in eventually, just to <laughs> stop, just to stop something. Um, but very good burn you <laughs> had on me. Very yeah. good burn. Very and a burn on the dog. Burn. I apologise for the burn on the dog. She's actually really behaved herself today, and I'm glad she's here. <laughs> you rope the, you rope the dog in with with me, and then you apologise to the dog, not me. Yeah, do I need to apologise? I won't apologise. To me. I don't apologise to you. Never explain, never apologise. <laughs> never complain, um, never explain. Uh, you got That's busted, like though, recently. No? Yes. Uh, we had a review, a very nice review, <laughs> from a, na- a man called Hugh Randolph. Shout out to um, you, you snitch. <laughs> Hugh is a massive snitch. Very useful snitch. Sometimes snitches um, can be helpful. <laughs> um... As is so often the case, I found this podcast after hearing well, Sunil is a interviewed he by Richard Herring on RHL STP, and then he put in brackets, RHL STP, exclamation mark, at the Edinburgh Fringe. It's a podcast review, so people can review us. We would appreciate it if you review us. It helps us in the ratings. He gave us five stars. Well, you don't have to do you. that, but that's very nice. Sunil was very funny, and he mentioned this podcast, including insisting nobody should listen to it. 
Why would do why do you need why to write that down that? in a review, Hugh? Why would you what were what you saying me? behind my back I said, in this don't podcast? To it. Why did you say that? I don't know. I thought it was funny. But people might have been like, oh, I might listen to it, and then you told them not to. It's just that when you listen to this podcast for the first time, like what even is it? Good point. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, do you remember the first ones we did? They were an absolute shambles. Yes. I don't know if anyone listens to it, they'll probably go... Yes, they might do you think this is less of a shambles? You'd yeah, say this, got this, got this table, isn't a, a shambles because we've got a table and a light. And we've got <laughs> table <laughs> decorations. We're not a shambles now because we have a table and we bro- have a light. We're better broadcasters now, <laughs> as wow. evidence in the fact wow. that I'm on a new podcast on the BBC coming out on Halloween. Fuck off. We have much less complaints about sound, actually. Yeah, that's um, the main that thing. Was a, that the sound was quality on the first A lot of people are very appalling. angry, actually. Like like before we got Elliot in. People refusing to listening to it, um, saying we wasted their time. Um, I think we've got one one star review as well. Have we? But they didn't they type didn't anything in. They didn't write I would have liked to know what they, I what they thought. I would have liked to know. All, all, all or maybe it was an enemy. Good. It could be an enemy. It could be an enemy of ours. Maybe a woman that you wouldn't talk baby voice to and she <laughs> gave you one star. Why would, she d- why would she ruin our podcast? Because I wouldn't do that. Because she's so sad. She's so sad. Um, anyway, we have a fantastic guest this episode. We're very lucky. Who's very I lucky? thought you were going to spit that again. Oh. We're very lucky. We're very lucky to have this guest. Um, what are we going to do? Are we going to do this all on the video, I guess? So you have to walk over. On we haven't done this before on a video. So you're going to have to walk over onto the video. Yeah, we might. While we record it. this. I'm not just going to sit over here and do it. Oh, we oh, don't even have a... <laughs> you're <getting> a <laughs> Chloe, you're sh- ruining the thing. It's like you've just arrived the at the front door. <laughs> you've ruined the vibe, Chloe, before you even got in here. Who's <laughs> this? Who's this? <laughs> is that the door? I think it is. Sunil, go get it. Oh, no, wait. Uh, no, don't. <laughs> uh, Bobby, get the door. That kid out there. He, oh, he's gone to the door. And oh, in, oh, hello, Chloe. Hello, Chloe. Hello, hello, How are you doing? Come in. Come on over. We yes. have a microphone and everything. <coughs> um, welcome to the podcast, Chloe Pets. Clap, clap, clap. I'm, I'm I can't clap. I'm trying to move the chocolates. Welcome. And Dottie the dog. <laughs> there she is. Hello, Dottie. Very sweet dog, actually. Yeah, very Aww. good dog. Very good dog. Aww. Yeah, she's a good dog. I just didn't have any control over her when she was in my house. I thought you only s- you said you only saw her for like half hour though. Yeah, but she wasn't having any of it. She wasn't listening to me. She wasn't. But what she was she doing then? She wasn't even looking me in the eye. I think that might be most women's reaction to you. It's a dog, not a woman. Yeah. Are you just trying to get him back and do a good burn? Just trying to get a burn. I yeah, don't I think you should compare women to dogs. Oh, don't burn me back. <laughs> 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 I want. I just want to burn. <laughs> <laughs> All I want is to do a good burn. Um, do- um, dogs can't eat chocolate, can they? No, th- <gasps> I was very glad that you pulled it away, actually. It was yeah. very responsible of you. That's good that you knew that. Yeah, I that would have fed really one good. to her. I didn't <laughs> even know. You've got a new <laughs> dog, though, haven't you? Uh, yes. Your parents have? Yes. Okay. Uh, so, Chloe, how come you got the dog? Uh, I've got the dog because her mum, who wanted a shout-out on this show, actually, Lulu. Hi, Popperwell. Lulu. Hi, Lulu. Shout-out to Lulu. Lulu. She's in Chicago at a wedding. Ooh. Oh, having a lovely time. She wants to come on the podcast as well. Yeah, of course. Because do you remember there was that time when Helen came on and it kind of became like, oh it dear. was less like yes. this was a podcast and more like it was sort of just a small part of a larger cultural conversation <laughs> that was going on <laughs> in the comedy world <laughs> where people were just like arguing with each other via this podcast. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. And, um, you got dragged into it, didn't you? Yeah, I got so dragged into it, but I didn't yes. give a shit. Yeah. But Helen thought I gave a shit. Yeah. So she said some nasty things about me on the podcast. Then I sent a retaliation video, but I couldn't upload it to Twitter because <laughs> it was too big. <laughs> <laughs> so then I well, s- now's your chance. Well, now's so then I sent it directly to, retali- to her, retali- and yeah. then she edited it down so that it made me look bad. <laughs> she edited it? <gasps> yeah, because I sent wow. it to her, and then she Helen edited Bauer. the video. Helen. And then accused me of, like, hate speech and stuff. Hate speech? Yeah, but you know what Helen's like. What yeah. did you say that was hateful? But she was annoying. <laughs> so she just edited it down just to you saying Helen is annoying. This Pretty is, much. This is like yeah. one of those episodes of like rap podcasts when they get in rappers that have had beef with other people. Wow, it's just explain. like that. Yeah. Just yeah. like that Similar. actually, yes. So tell us more about your beef with Helen. This is well, she was just accusing me of begging coming on the podcast when she was the one that begged you. Yes. It was one of her 2019 goals. That's very, That goals. was very sweet. I felt like we ruined her goal for her. I think she came in here with a sort of She'd never a meet your heroes. Attitude. Yeah. But that's just Helen, isn't it? 
<laughs> We're going to have to heavily edit this if we want a, a, a nice quiet life after this. Oh dear. I don't... Because uh, you know that already from what you've said today, there's going to be a lot of tweets flying about. Yeah, but I'll just put my phone on airplane mode. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, yeah. She, I mean... I felt like we ruined it for her. I felt very bad afterwards. Because, but the, I felt like we had to be mean to survive. You Sometimes you have to be cruel. She came with an energy that we had to but what I said slam to down immediately. What I said to you after was that it was kind of nice because usually the pair of you are at each other's throats. And <gasps> you were saying like... Yes. You yeah. were saying, what <laughs> is this podcast? And I would say it's just like sort of arguing as art. I would oh, <laughs> oh yeah. art. I, I like the use of art there. Yeah. Um, art. And then... How is very manipulative. Art. But yeah. then it was nice <laughs> that... <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> is, Why did you say that? She's good with language. I'm good with language. Thank yeah. you. Um, and then, um, well, I'm not. Go- Sorry, this is easy to get sidetracked in this podcast. I wouldn't say that you're necessarily good at manipulating. I would say that you believe yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you believe your own lies. Really. You believe your own lies, and everyone Wait. else is like, "Okay, Harriet." <laughs> what lies? Hmm? What lies? Where know. has this come from, Chloe? Nice one, Chloe. You we need to unite against Chloe now. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm Chloe's side. No. <laughs> you have to pick a side on this podcast to survive. No, so basically it was just nice that you and you and Sunil sort yes. of galvanised against It did Helen. feel nice. We came natural. up with, yeah, we really... We didn't plan anything and yeah. it was very interesting to see how we... Um, that's, <laughs> not, that's not going to happen, does it? She trying to get on the table? Go and strangle yourself on again. The table. Off oh. your pup. All right. Um... Well, thanks for coming, though. Thanks so much for coming. Despite no, the constant me. threats to your life from Helen Bowen. It's okay. Yeah. I do believe that she will hurt me as well because she has in the past. <laughs> um, <laughs> physically. So Emotionally was she there at physically. her bowling? No. Physically. Did she hurt you? Yeah, I was trying to, I was trying to sort of, she brought loads of her mates from different sort of groups you know when at yeah. your wow. birthday, yeah, mm. on and purpose. And I was trying to sort. Yeah. Not oh, I thought you meant like to set each other, like the jets and the sharks or something. <laughs> <laughs> they were all gonna to play over. against each other. Yeah. yeah. Only one friendship group will survive. <laughs> <laughs> no. So basically, I was trying to sort of be like a good friend and get everyone together. And because we went bowling, I thought, what better way than to have sort of mixed friendship group bowling, right. so we can all yes. get to know each other. Yes. So I was setting it all up, and I was crouching, and then she came over and just went, oh, and then pushed me to the floor. <laughs> I was so shocked what? I couldn't get... Yeah. She was to the floor? <laughs> yeah, I think she was a bit overstimulated. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's excited. difficult when it's your birthday, you get a bit over the top, maybe and a bit excited, and then, yeah, and you... Yeah, and <laughs> she and that, fizzy drinks. She had a few too many fizzy drinks, and she pushed you over. Pushed oh, over. dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I think we're playing into our hands now by talking yes. about her. Yeah, so that's the last thing I'll say about Okay, Helen. that's right. We're but done. what I began yeah. saying is Dottie's mum, Lulu, would l- also love to come on the podcast. Yes, of course. Because yeah. apparently that's what we do now. We just come on and blackmail you. The three. <laughs> 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 you've been, yeah. you've been the least insistent, though. Yes. You, you were just like, that's just why. Like yes. Yeah. I you've really like the us. podcast. You never asked us to be on, which is good. Yeah. Is nice. It was nice, actually, you talking about back in the day when the podcast first started, because I've been here from the beginning, sure. and just sort of getting on the <laughs> tube. <laughs> Getting on the tube <laughs> and not being able to hear the podcast yeah. over the sound of the train. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry mm. about that. Sorry about that. Oh, but okay. the tubes are loud. So And then there was the spell in your Uber where you got a little bit too loud and oh, <laughs> my voice got <laughs> too loud. Bit, <laughs> yes. It was a bit yes. <laughs> the evolution of an artist, really, isn't it? Yeah. Just, so we finally settled on a sort of You have nice to make volume. mistakes in this in order to grow. Um and that's why we have Elliot now. So yeah. Elliot, um thanks Elliot. Thanks Elliot. Elliot sorts us out. <laughs> um and did you have a nice birthday it was your birthday recently hence the cake thank well, we you haven't so lit much for it the cake. can so you sweet. light it yeah or should we do it at the end i'll light it i actually fact i knew that you was going to have a treat today did you yeah you're very generous oh that's sweet yeah um oh dear oh, oh dear it's very good for the audience. you're gonna burn your fingers isn't it? Oh, my fingers are hot now <laughs> just two. Oh god um, while you do that, we'll just chat. Um, so you had a nice birthday. Lovely birthday. Um, w- went to Richmond Park. That's nice. Oh, it's lovely. very nice there. Very nice. Have you been to I've now? never been, actually. I'd what? love to go one day. You could. You could go any... I can go literally any day. You I'm could go literally free. any day. Uh, I'm, I'm free mainly except for the times when I'm recording my other podcast. Can you which stop? is out on the BBC soon. Can't wait to can listen. You st- really no, good guests. You, no, um, nobody can listen. We've had a lot of really good guests. We've got Cindy on this week. I think. Oh, I really love Cindy. I like Cindy too, but why can't she be a guest on our podcast? Do you, you listen to Helen's her? podcast? <laughs> I can't. It's, it's um, I did it. It's unbearable. Yeah. <laughs> it 
was very chaotic. Yeah. I found it fun. Yeah, it's fun. It was fun. Uh, no, I haven't listened to it yet, actually. But we said we wouldn't talk about Helen anymore. Yeah, I know. We don't. <laughs> We're talking about other podcasts. Welcome to the podcast review. <laughs> <laughs> no one should listen to any other podcasts. You Although, wanted to change the name well, of the podcast. Well, actually, someone tweeted um, saying, um, I love the Harriet Kemsley podcast. Yeah. And we thought, what a fantastic new title. We've been the, thinking maybe we need a rebrand. <laughs> I'm fine the with Harriet the Harriet Kemsley. Well, then we thought it could be the Elliot J. Fallows Presents, the Harriet Kemsley podcast featuring recurring guests and El Patel. I prefer occasional guest because then I can no, do my No, no, you can't well. stop going to your other podcast. <laughs> and he's doing a web series. Yeah. Really? Congratulations. No, it's wrong me. attitude. So watch out. <laughs> Thank and, you, uh, that's good. Yeah. Me and Phil Ellis will be playing N64 games while he talks about all his failed relationships. Oh, for God's sake. You couldn't possibly have time to do anything else apart from this bi-weekly podcast. <laughs> 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 it's a lot How of, do you fit it all in? Mm-hmm. Must be exhausting all your podcasts. You should get another <laughs> podcast, maybe. Sort of maybe in, I will. Your wings maybe a bit, I maybe will. Yeah, maybe I will. I just sorry, I've just been focusing on this one. I'm just brushing my hair should with my fingers, but my hair got stuck. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. <laughs> this is great they TV. got stuck. <laughs> they got get stuck in there. there. Just get Can't get it out. Got it. There we go. Well, that's a gift. Um, that's a gift. Um. <laughs> no, every time I do we something, it's made into episode. a gif now. It's really <laughs> horrible. <laughs> All no, these horrible doing gifs. Stuff to you. Yeah, well, I did that to myself. Oh, should be gifs. I think you should do another podcast. What would it be about? Well, this is the thing. He's trying to push me into a podcast so that I feel like then you don't have responsibility for me. It's like someone trying to break up with someone. Why like, do you I know, have when they're like, for you? they're just like, oh. I think we should have an open they podcast just relationship. <laughs> they just spend more time away from them and make them feel bad. And then generally, then eventually they break up with you. That's what you're doing. You're trying to make me break up with you. So I'm too busy doing other podcasts <laughs> and you don't have to do this podcast anymore. No, I like doing this one. Oh, I, I oh you said invest- that as if you don't like doing the other one. I like doing this one. Did you guess that? that I like doing you know this that I've one. Got a really this interesting one. BBC podcast coming out. So. May I ask, is there a yeah. lot of money in this podcast? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just trying to. I'm trying to. Help what an interesting you question. What an interesting, what an interesting question. interesting question. Well, I'm just trying to say. Yes. That it doesn't seem like Sunil's here for the money. It there is no money. Yes. So I've it spent would be, a lot of money on this. We have spent <laughs> the, so the, much money. The, this ah, podcast. the boom arms and <laughs> the headphones. I spent the thick end of three hundred quid on. We have. Bled money into the podcast. And How much is a recorder? That's about 500, 400. There has not been enough listens. Where there's not enough. Please. But then people are so nice about it. That we're going we to stop. Li- we're going to stop making this but podcast. You must let, tell people to gonna listen. We're going to stop doing this podcast unless we get to 5,000 listeners yeah. in yeah. the next. You know, um, just minute. as a side note. Minute. <laughs> <laughs> the next minute. <laughs> the minute from now before yeah, yeah, yeah. this podcast before this is, is going to yeah. yeah, you heard what we said. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, uh, I feel like, you know, Chekhov's gun. Yes. Like if you see a yes. gun in the first act, it has to yes. go off by the end. I feel like it's a little bit like with these birthday candles. <laughs> oh, we got meant to blow it out. Yeah. We forgot how candles work. Oh, do we blow we them out the now? Candles. Yeah, no, we have to sing happy birthday. You don't <laughs> blow them. You I'm blow looking them. at them. You're looking looking at them. looming over like you're going to blow them. It's not What's your that? birthday. Like flakes of rice. You have to sing um, uh, oats. Um, is it? Is it a ginger cake? It's a carrot cake. cake. Carrot oh, cake. Lovely. Yeah, I know. I thought you liked carrot cake. Right, and we had to sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. I'm going to look her right in the eye. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Chloe. Happy birthday to you. Lovely oh, stuff. really burnt for too long. Very a lot smoky. of very a lot of smoke <laughs> happening very now. Very smoke. long wicks. In the words of my father, <laughs> I'll have the bit with the spit on it. <laughs> Why is Dottie pawing at Elliot? Is that does that uh, mean something? She does wants she want to cuddle. Oh. There's these. She sensed your pain. She can, she can sense she masculine. Like, you're in pain. Um, so look how long like those wicks you. are. It's not that she's sensing everyone's no, she pain. Knows she I'm doesn't fine. like she you at all. She knows I don't need her. Does she bite? Yeah, all the time. Nice. She's a big bruiser. She just wants a bit of affection. That's all. Um. Do but not t- from you. <sighs> Should we talk about the reasons? Um, can we talk about the reasons, the times that you've cried before, please? Yeah, we absolutely can. Because I, to me, I think you're very like I think you're a very capable person. I think that like you you're as somebody well. like Sunil that I would really trust with things. I think you're someone who knows how to process their emotions and understand them rather. I than really don't feel compli- complimented. I feel kind of used in your battle when you're saying these things. Yeah, because you're to saying the that. Like <laughs> <laughs> You're saying <laughs> lovely things about me, but somehow yeah. it doesn't Yeah, you're feel saying it as if I'm lacking those qualities. Oh, no. <laughs> no. No, but we know that you are. And that's, <laughs> not a bad, that's not a bad thing. We love that about you. Oh, dear. 
It's fun, isn't it? Yeah, it's all fun. Ooh, it's always fun yeah. when Harriet's around. <laughs> dangerous, but fun. <laughs> dangerous, but fun. I really want to stake this. Um, um, I've got a corduroy shirt as well. Yeah, but I yours is more fluffy. I was admiring it from afar, actually. I think it's lovely. Where did you get yours from? Uh, oh, I you've got, got matching shirts. It's a charity shop. Has it? Oh, actually, you... no, that's a lie. I got it from uh, a vintage place in Canterbury where Nigel Farage buys his sheepskin jackets. What? Which one? What? I'm from Canterbury. Yeah, yeah, I, know. I went well, to university Fabisham, there. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually. You know, um, oh, what's it called? You know when you... Oh, I don't know the name of it. You go, um, I do know where it is, though. When you go down the high street yeah. and then... On the right. Uh, wh- well, it depends, well, it depends on where you're facing. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on where you're so facing. near the cathedral, is it on the back street? Um, no, no, it's kind of like... It's down by Westgate. Oh, right. By it's Westgate. down by Westgate. The shopping centre. What? Is there a big shopping centre there? The big John Lewis? No, that's the top. That's the top of town. That's top spoons. Oh, sorry. That's the other. Anyway. Bottom spoons. Right. That's where I got it from. Near um, Okabasi, the kebab shop. Oh, near the train station? Canterbury no. West. Yeah, but down that end, but not there. Yeah. It's down the that le- end. Oh, see, does she bite? She's biting me now. She's she biting. But that's not a real bite. Though, it's no, like no. It's play. just play, isn't it? Yeah. Um. So, yeah, I got it from there. What were you doing in Canterbury? Because I live near, really near there. Do you? Sittingbourne, yeah. Oh, right. I thought you were from South East London. I thought you grew up there. No, I grew up in Kent. Oh, um, yeah. Chloe opened for me on my tour show. And um, um, when we oh, did it in um, Canterbury, so she was so funny. funny. But in it, she talked about, um, she said a joke. Then she names the person in the joke. Yeah. And didn't think anything of the fact that she was saying it in the county of the place where the person was from. <laughs> Shout <laughs> on your own doorstep, mate. <laughs> and then a guy <laughs> in the crowd went, I know him. <laughs> it was really it was, it was great. It was the perfect moment. Like, yeah. I, I've never sort of crumpled into a ball on stage before, <laughs> but I had to <laughs> turn into a little sort of fetus. What was the joke? What were, you, was you, were you accusing someone? Were well, you were standing was up it? there. Was, it was good, actually. I was calling this boy uh, called uh, Ryan... <laughs> um, it's too late for that now though i'll blur it out it's it's it's, a, it's kind of unfair because he was like a bit of a dick to me at school but i made the story more narratively satisfying okay <laughs> so like he looks all bad and i look great <laughs> but there's yeah. obviously shades of gray in these stories yes of course, aren't yes, of, course. of course of course but anyway <laughs> lovely shirt where did you get yours from sunil uh uniqlo oh i really do i like get a lot of if, any, if anyone out there Wimbledon. works for uniqlo do um i don't know give me some stuff Oh, that would be so nice. I'll or promote if you it work on my new BBC anything. podcast. If you work for anything, you could give us something because <laughs> you don't have anything you work for. You could give it to us. You've got a soda stream yet? No, I don't. <laughs> big, big, yes. swallow, <laughs> big swallow there. Big swallow there. I said swallow. I'll get you one. Yes, thank you. But I'm not sure you actually want one. I right? could not want a soda stream more. You How many times do so you say stuff, it? Though. What do you mean? I've got a kettle. And I told you how to use a soda stream, and you're like, oh no, I don't know. No, about I that. do know. You've I got to do replace know. the I was gas just trying to be nice. I didn't want you to buy it. I'll buy it I felt for you now. Bad. I'll buy it for you now. Great. Great. Um, Chloe. Um, but do you think you're, because I think you are a very together person, but do you feel like that? Because that's what you portray. And also, you, like things like looking after a dog. No one has ever said, Harriet, will you look <laughs> after my dog? <laughs> and also, I did the same with my cat when I thought my cat might be in trouble. I reached out to you and said, could you check on my cat? Oh, yeah. I did offer to check on your cat, though. Oh, yeah, you did. But that's the kind of thing you do, whereas I'd offer and people would go, oh, thanks, <laughs> but we, we don't. We're fine. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, well, um, uh, I feel relatively capable, but I do, I do have a, I'm a big crier. I am a big crier. Really? Yeah. At very sort of, I don't know how to process my emotions when I really like something or when oh. I'm like angry about something or so I'll just cry instead. I'll, uh, I'll I think that's that. lovely. It's oh. 130 quid for a soda stream. Oh, no. I thought they were way cheaper. Yeah, really back like yourself into a corner machines. now so you if said you were going to order stream, it. <laughs> Um, if really? you work for so- Soda Stream, then well done because you've got another sale, so Neil. <laughs> no, I will be. I'm looking. I'm doing it now. Like. No, you don't have to buy me a no, Soda Stream. No, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. It's not 90 quid. 130 pounds. quid is 90 too quid. much money. Sunil. Sunil is too much money. Oh, the Mega Pack bundle for 70 from. You don't have to spend that much money. Oh, gosh. But then you're, you said you'd get me a phone. That's why you're doing it. You can't do it just because you want something in return. Basically, we had an agreement that if either of us got, got this job, then we'd buy the other. I'd get a, She'd get a soda stream and I'd get a new iPhone. And neither of you got the job. No, we well, Sunil got, got the job <laughs> twice. I got the job but twice. But he got she the got good job, but then it, it got more complicated because we didn't get like the full money for it. Get out of the soda stream. We thought we were going to be so rich, but then actually life's quite expensive, isn't it? 
But you can have my old phone. No, it's not bad. I'll you get can you. have I'll my old it. phone. I'm going to get a new phone. I just that's the thing. I didn't want to spend that much without knowing you actually wanted it and really wanted to use it. I'll get you something else to the value. What about of it. for Christmas? Well, all right, you can get any old shit for Christmas, can't you? <laughs> 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 all right. Well, let's talk about this afterwards. Anyway, we'll talk about um, this afterwards. So you cry when you're like basically overwhelmed. I cry a lot at musicals because I just think they're so fab. Oh, have you ever cried at a musical? You know I've never seen one. <laughs> Sunil. <laughs> You okay, know. I'm going to get in on this then. I'm going to take you to see a musical. <gasps> Let's yeah, go I, to I see a musical. I was going to go to see a musical. Yes. Because I did a musical the other yes, week. Yes, we know. And now I'm, I should probably go and see a musical, so I was going to go and see Lion King or something. Yeah, don't let's see all that. go. All right. Oh, no, don't, don't go. A Sondheim or something like that. They're supposed to be good, aren't they? What one? Stephen Sondheim ones. I wouldn't I wouldn't let that be your access point. A song no. What's an access point then? What would like you say? something a bit more, you know. Book of Mormon or something. A bit more easy. Everyone says that, yeah. Yeah. Or um, I want to go and see Dear Evan, Evan Hansen. We could go see that. Okay, see. The and so does Elliot. Drip to go see it. Okay, but my thinking is if I'm going to see a musical, I should go and see one that is purely like about really good music. You know what? Not purely. Just chill out a bit. It doesn't would, have to be this serious. I would see. Just enjoy see yourself for God's sake. <laughs> I won't. I won't but see it's important. It's his first musical. What if I hate it after that? It'd be your He's, fault. He, look how old you've got without going to musicals because you've just been trying to be too sensible about it. I went it. to a musical with my dad once. Musical. Went to see oh, the you blues. have seen a musical. No, 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 no. Okay, so this we, is really We walked backwards. out halfway through. He didn't like it. What was it? Blues Brothers. <laughs> yeah, it's probably not a good one. Um, <laughs> your okay. dad's so funny. Were you enjoying it? He made you leave. I, I was like, all right about it. And then people started dancing in the aisle and I was like, yeah, we should go. What's so he had to like, like fight your way between No, because everyone these was standing and dancing. clapping and dancing, and we were both just like sitting there. And he was like, Should we just go? And I was like, Yeah, let's just let's go. I'm not, like, it's the weird thing about like. <laughs> it's just such a funny image. You and your dad just, oh God, they're dancing. We, we no, could have to, we could have to leave. That, it I had no bad. idea this was going to happen at a musical. Thing is, this though, is that's absolutely. What, that's like what I've never, I've never understood. You know when like you go to cinema and people really get into the film and they shout stuff. Yes. Yeah. So that's how traditionally people would interact with any kind of media like theatre. Yes, theatre. That's Whereas like I'm of the more yes. Victorian <laughs> mindset, which I know is. <laughs> you are of, you do which have is, a Victorian which isn't mindset the right way generally. Of I'd about say it. yes. <laughs> which is where you like you just let them get on with it and you just sit there quietly. I prefer that. I would say that that <laughs> largely happens. Though. It d- definitely, yeah. yeah. But before the Victorian times, it was all about like getting oh, involved right, with it okay, and right, letting right. yourself get carried away and letting your emotions get carried I away. I have an ancient Greek um, perspective, I think, and you have a um, Victorian perspective. T- please tell me about your ancient Greek perspective. <laughs> what well, do you know what I mean? Like, like, um, like tragedy, like very intense emotions. Oh yeah, yeah. Very you intense. Feel them. Yes. Um, I think you, yeah. Medusa. I think a lot of the time, if you watch, <laughs> just <laughs> listing that? things from ancient Greece. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, the Cyclops. Medusa, yeah. Cyclops. <laughs> the Cyclops. Yeah. Jason. 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 Argonauts. Yeah. Cheers. Jason. Cheers. Cheers. Amber, um, yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. So I can't wait to take you to a musical. This is fantastic news. I'll go to a musical. I pick. I pick one. Take you. Yeah, sure. Lovely. We're gonna have a trip. What to about a hair musical? Spray. <gasps> is that the one that they're naked? No, no, that's, no, that's hair. 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 Um, hairspray. Hairspray is very good. Yeah. I don't think it's too silly. I don't want to go to anything that has Hindus in it <laughs> in the audience. Not Magic Mike, then. Um, I like the film. Think it's a musical. The film's it's good. It's not a musical. It's a script show. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's full, full, absolutely full of Hindus. Full dicks so out. <laughs> full dicks out. Hens free, about. Free canapes, um, is there? Something like that. Free canapes? Oh, yeah, there's usually a bit a of a buff, buffet. Oh, no, before a, um, yeah, Mike XXL. Everyone's putting their hands in those crisps. Oh yeah, really sticky um, canapes. Um, so, okay, so you you so musicals and things make you feel yeah, feel time. overwhelmed. My latest okay. one is Jesus Christ Superstar. I can't stop listening to the soundtrack. For God's sake, I have never found that interesting. Ooh. it's the Bible. Do you know yeah, what I mean? I Jesus, boring. I have a Bible Pontius history. Pilate. Fuck off. Pontius. Like, do you know what? I, <laughs> is that all, how you say Pontiac it? Pontiac Pilate. <laughs> 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 what did I do wrong? Pont- I don't know. Is Isn't it Pontius? Pontius. 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 Oh, what right. did I say? Pont- too Ponty. Pontius. I said Ponti- it was too, too Ponty. Ponti. She did too Pontius. Ponti. No, he said Pontius, but it's Pontius apparently. No, oh. and th- th- that's not funny. I shouldn't. Have <laughs> 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 to be fair, that's just mean. I do apologise. <laughs> I'm on Chloe's side. Yeah, I knew, I knew you would be. Um, absolutely. Sorry, I have, and they always have Jason Donovan or someone like Jason Donovan in it. Not, playing not Jesus. interested. That's Jason not and the Technicolor Jason Dreamcoat. Jason and the Technicolor Dreamcoat. <laughs> That's not Jesus Christ Superstar. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Jason. Wait, what? They are they have different? Jason Donovan. Yeah. Wait, are they different? 
Joseph and the technical dream coat, I don't and know. Joseph is it Jason, Christ. Is it Jason? <laughs> <or>? <laughs> Joseph Christ. Who's got the Jesus technical dream coat? Joseph. Joseph. But Jesus. Jason has, Donovan Jesus was in is that a Christ when, superstar. Yeah, but Jason Donovan Joseph was in Christ superstar. Joseph no, and his technical yes, dream coat. Yes. But who is Joseph They're in the different. technical dream coat? Joseph was Lee Mead. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Lee Mead what is a useful name. answer. <laughs> what was, who was the character of Jason in Jason and the technical dream coat? Jason. Who the fuck is Jason? Who's the j- Jason? Who's Joseph. the telling? Joseph. <laughs> Joseph. <laughs> it's because Jason Donovan played that role yes. in it. So it's Old Testament, and basically there was this boy called Joseph, and he had loads of brothers, but his dad loved him the most and gave him this amazing coat, and they hated him right. for it. So they threw him. What they um, uh, initially they started plotting to kill him, but one of them was like, "We can't kill him. He's a bro- her brother." So they put him in a pit and then ran away and left him to the wolves. But he escaped and went to. Egypt and then uh I know this musical very well and then uh he met a king and then his king the king's wife wanted to shag him and then the brothers found him again later and they all got back together and had a nice old sing song at the end. And sorry, at what point I was did you the cry? Brothers were like, oh, I didn't cry. I never said that I cried at that. Oh, you, was talking <laughs> about Jay- you said Jason Donovan, Donovan about Jason was in and the all of dream of But he was in Joseph and the Technicolor I did cry dream when Lee Mead won Joseph and the that show though oh I yes that. yeah 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 who's yeah. Lee Mead <laughs> Lee Mead Played went Joseph. out with Tamsin Althwaite Denise no Ralph. Denise <laughs> Denise <laughs> Van Outen <laughs> and he won a show called I actually this summer I stood next to him um, he was filming in Elstree <laughs> what a summer he <laughs> won a, a show summer. called This Summer I Stood Next to Him <laughs> <laughs> this, he got, that was I his would prize. have loved that he yeah. was up filming Holby um by where we were filming Pants on Fire. So um, oh, I was right. like, that guy. And then I was like, oh How my God, it's Lee Mead. Very, very bushy. Very bushy, yeah. Lots of hair. Suspecting he's a very right curly man. Okay. Um, no, 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 but he went, he thinned, he thinned for oh, a while. Oh, really? And now he's, he's, yeah, he's had a transplant. I think it should be encouraged. Me oh, too. Oh, Snail's looking at chocolates. Transplant. Do you want to see the menu? Yeah, no, I no, do. No, no. I honestly think if I was a man and I had thinning hair, I'd get one. You just I think do it. There shouldn't be any stigma. And they say that... <laughs> and they say oh, yeah. a lot. Of, overall, it's like a sense of relief once it's all gone. It's yeah, like, oh, well, I don't well have it's to the do. panic as it's leaving. But I, I think. don't. I think. Don't think women can ever imagine being with that. They don't ever have to imagine oh, yeah. that reality. Yeah, it's so hard for you men. <laughs> no, I'm saying it's fine. Oh, finally, big finally, thing. the hair's gone. It's been weighing me down for yeah, so yeah, yeah, many yeah. years. What the fuck are you talking about? Snow? Well, look, because my friends at all, they're like, yeah, it's fine. It's absolutely. I don't have to think about styling my hair, getting a haircut. I just. That's that's nice. That yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? I think um I think it can lead to depression because it's just constantly seeing the same. Do you know what I mean? It's like it's like a constant nothing yep. ever changes. Right, I feel There's like your never face. Your face don't change. No, but you can change it. As a woman you can change it, whereas they're like, This is it. Do you know what I mean? It's like it's like prison. Mm. Mm. Unless you wear actually a hat. You actually hats would solve that. <laughs> To get some hats, different hats. Hat, just get different hats. Just that would solve that guy. problem, actually. Yeah, just wear a different hat every day. I might get a new hat soon. Really? Yeah. What kind are you gonna go for? Same, same kind as the ones I've already got. Do you watch um, Succession? No, I don't actually. You Sorry. should watch it because the main character, the seventy-year-old Brian Cox, plays Logan Roy, and Sunil looks just like him. I don't. <laughs> He's an old white man. <laughs> Who wears caps? <laughs> so apparently I look like him because I wear Absolutely caps. Absolutely have exactly the same style. It's um, oh, you're right there. Yep, just have um, me rearrange. So you get very um, you get very emotional at musicals, yeah. and so mainly ones with Jesus Christ in. Especially ones. With Especially Jesus Christ ones with Jesus Christ. So what happens in Jesus Christ Superstar? Um, you, have you heard of the Bible? <laughs> um, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> so it's basically yeah, I've like heard of it. it's the last week of Jesus's life, uh, where oh, where God. God's saying like you have to die now, and he's like, oh, but I don't want to. Oh, he doesn't God. die. He doesn't die. He doesn't die. He comes back to life. Yeah, but then he dies again. No, he gets taken up to heaven. Oh. What? <laughs> is that true? Did you just think he died at the end? I that don't. Was it? Christians believe it's true, but I think it's down to you to decide. Oh, oh God, <laughs> I've got a lot of thinking about to do. <laughs> You're a Christian. What? Well, you were brought no. up in a Christian tradition. Yes, but um, my dad's um, atheist. Is he? Mm. What about your mum? Uh, agnostic. What about you? I don't know. That's agnostic. I like to believe in something. That's that's agnostic. Oh. Agnostic. <laughs> <laughs> I agnostic, didn't know what it meant. Agnostic means Should've I don't know. Should have said that to me. Yeah. I don't know, basically, and I think it's very um, arrogant to say you do. Well, I don't think it's about arrogance. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, if you're religious, it's an, a- it's an act of faith. 
And that's yes. what they take so seriously. Yes. Yes. Or idiocy. No. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just setting you up. Oh, right. uh, no, no, but I think saying that you definitely know there isn't anything. Uh, how do That's, you know? Yeah, you don't. Who knows? You don't know anything. I think everyone just has to say it's like it's like it's just a nice thing to dream, isn't it? Well, welcome to why is Harriet crying? <laughs> 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 Where we discuss the big issues. Yeah. It's a big issue. Big issue, actually. Think about something to think about. Actually, all this that because I've never. <laughs> Have you never thought about this? <laughs> I You're think right. I'm going to go away with a lot to think about today. Right there. Yeah. No, I did start thinking about it when um, I was a teenager and then I became very depressed. Um, and then I just had to trick myself into believing in something. Otherwise, I feel very down. A couple of years ago, Bobby told me you woke up in the middle of the night crying because you realised that people die. <laughs> He's such a prick. He's such a prick. Mm. Well, it's true though, isn't it? I don't remember that. Well, Surely I'd remember that. Well, I don't think you'd remember the exact time you cried because you cried so much about ridiculous things. Is that things. true? He just told... I don't remember that. So it I just, just like woke up in the middle of the night, told him I just learned people die and no, then fell asleep again. No, you just realised that people are going to die and then you started crying. It feels like you're <laughs> having the realisations that a seven-year-old <laughs> would have yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, you just for all the time. You forget and then you have it. That's oh, the thing. Yeah. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's exactly like that. You bury it and then yeah. you have it again. Exactly. That's it. I have to bury it. You have it. to learn how to process it. I can't face it. it every day. You have to understand that everyone you know is going to die. I can't. I absolutely can't. But you say that Sunil's the repressed one, but, but that's what you. you're just, you're the same person. You're just doing it. You're just doing it in different ways. Yeah. Oh my God. I don't think you're facing up to these things. But how can you face it and live a life? I can't face it. Well, I just feel... What do you mean? I can't What's deal with What's the point it? of life it's if there's death horrible. at the end of it? Yeah. But death gives life meaning. No, it doesn't. It means you have to make the most of it before N- you no, die. No, it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair point. Okay, yeah. All right. Yeah, good point. Well, mate, thanks, thanks for well argued, yeah. Harriet. <laughs> Can I send you a copy of Man's Search for Meaning? Yeah, please do. Please do. What is it? Um, it's a book from a Holocaust survivor. Ooh. Oh, God. Yeah, send it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've got yeah. to read it. Yes, I've got to read it. Sounds like I my kind of thing. Yep, I must read it. Um, so, um, so what happens in Jesus Christ Superstar? It, in my mind, it's like X Factor. This is or what, exactly what we're no, talking about. It's what? You're just glossing over it, burying it, not addressing it, and then in oh, three weeks' time you'll sorry, cry about Dottie's it. Dottie's got one of Bobby's socks. Oh no, Dottie, <laughs> Dottie, one of Bobby's socks. Dottie, come, come, okay. Oh dear. You need more masculine energy, Chloe. She's not going to. Oh dear. Respect. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. Um, no, I don't. I don't read that. That's what you're doing, Harriet. There, I don't think you're repressing that instance. I, Thank you. I read it as you're desperately trying to interview me, but um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, don't have the requisite skills. <laughs> uh, you got some questions there. No, your no, computer's no, locked. It needs a password. It's, to unlock. it's literally <laughs> taken us about fifteen minutes to. Work out Hang on, the plot of Jesus Christ. Superstar. I think we're done. <laughs> we <laughs> literally reached the end of the episode. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to go away <laughs> thinking that it's like X Factor, but with Jesus. What? Like that he becomes famous through a singing competition and he becomes a superstar and How reaches did you get to people. This? That's what's in my mean? mind. That's what happens in Jesus Christ Superstar. Just Wikipedia the plot. I can't. I, I don't do Wikipedia the plot. Just open a Bible and read. Don't it. Oh, it's read literally the, the story yeah, of don't the Bible. Actually. Why don't you listen to Sean and Elliot's podcast about the Bible? Yeah, that is. That because would be I don't good. like Bible things. Kay. I find them dry. But right. I think that's no. But I know <laughs> the whole point is that you make fun of it. I know that you went to microphone. I know oh. the whole point is that you make fun of it, but then it's still about the Bible. And I had to study the Bible at school, so I don't want to know about it. Do you know what I mean? It's like if you did a podcast on the Wolves of Willoughby Chase. <laughs> <laughs> I studied it too much. That's our next idea, though. That's not fair. What is the Why don't you go through all the books people have to do at school? Lord of the Flies. Because then I have to read them. Oh yeah, okay. Oh yeah. Shakespeare. No, I'm. They're very funny, so I'm sure it's very good. I just, I just, it just, I can't. I can't. It's, it's stuff because I had to go to church and stuff, and I had to do religious studies. See, I, I, I went feels like I went through like a big time God phase. And yeah. I think I still find so like so cute. I still find like church is quite romantic. No, I do and as well. Like yeah. yeah, they are beautiful. The Bible stories I find quite touching. Did you do religious studies A level? No, I didn't actually. As it goes, okay. You tried to say that, and then I interrupted, and then no. you tried to get it back <laughs> in again. Why did so you point at yourself? No, like you did. I get what you mean about like. Did you get raised in a like 
church school. Did you go to a church school? No, I didn't go to a church school. Oh, right, really? Just a weirdo. That so basically, I wanted to be in a band, but I had not much musical talent. So I thought, who would have me? The Christians. Okay. And then, um, <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, and then I was like, oh, I also don't have much musical talent. So who will have me? The bassists. Um, so I played bass in a church in band. A church band. Nice. And, uh, that what for services? Yeah, yeah, for oh, services. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. And um, yeah. Right. Kind of like got involved in all the associated sort of Christian gumph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just love Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> to conclude. Um, for, for and I just love Jesus Christ. <laughs> I just love Jesus Christ. I think he's a superstar. <laughs> and if anyone wants an access into the soundtrack, then I would recommend Gethsemane and Judas's Death. Okay. But you don't want to see this musical? No, no. I wouldn't. No. Right, which musical Very are we going to see? Dry. You Hairspray. need to get to the bottom of this. Um, Hairspray. <laughs> But that sounds like I wouldn't enjoy Chicago. it. Chicago. Les Fine. Yeah, why not? Yeah. No, Les Mis cool. is quite dry. One of the classics. Les Mis is not dry. It's quite dry. What do you like? Um, I saw Waitress, the musical, actually, <gasps> do recently. Do you like Waitress? Which you is know fantastic. What? With uh, Jack from um, um, 30 Rock. Very oh. good. He was so funny. And I told him so afterwards, and it was awkward. <laughs> but I'm sure the person playing him now would be just as funny. No, it's okay. not. It's some, no, it's well, not. It's someone from YouTube. Then. Okay. Um, do you mean Jack from Dirty Rock? Oh Kenneth. Oh dear. Yes, Kenneth. Yeah. Who's yeah. Pl- called Jack in real life. Oh, okay. That's right. Um, yeah. yeah. And okay. he was so good. How is this useful now? Um, you said, what p- what musicals uh, do I like? Uh, and I told you. So you. don't ask me a question if you don't want the answer. That also wasn't the question you asked. <laughs> <laughs> you, you get away with a lot by lying. <laughs> I don't like Let's how you point that. out <laughs> the truth. <laughs> <laughs> so we can come out here and you say things that are really best interaction on this true. podcast ever. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Well, we've reached the end of the podcast, and we don't know what Jesus Christ Superstar is. Um, yes, pretty, we do. Uh, I literally <laughs> said it. It's the last week of Jesus's life. If I don't, if you don't know what the plot of that is, then you're a fucking moron. Thank you, as I've always said. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I, I liked thought... it when Helen was here, and we were a team <laughs> because I feel outnumbered right now. I always vowed that I would never become this person if I came on your podcast. Oh my! God. This but you brings drive out the people... worst in everybody. This podcast <laughs> brings out the worst. <laughs> the worst. Sean McLaughlin isn't actually an angry man. No, he's not. People, the world makes him angry. Bobby is very calm. Very <laughs> yes, calm. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Oh Sorry. dear. Maybe it's. Maybe I think. It's I think if anything, us. this podcast should show what a hero I am. Wow. <laughs> um, um, all right, Chloe, well, do you have we... anything to promote? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm doing a preview at the <laughs> Albany <laughs> on Monday the fourth of no. Thank you. Don't Dirty. Think this will be out by then. Yes, it will. Monday, you you said it's coming out on Halloween. Sorry, I made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> it's out in two weeks. Because it's your birthday episode. I'm sorry, it's your birthday episode a month after your birthday. <laughs> 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 uh, okay, then I've got to coming up in December. Or? No, you, well, you're going to be doing previews soon. So yeah, I'll be doing previews. You. You pre- 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 you. What's your Twitter? At Chloe Pets. C H L O E. Papa Echo Tango Tango Sierra. Very and good. And you're also making an effort with Instagram. Yeah, I am actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah I only got it recently. Did I tell you that? <gasps> Sunil, we didn't talk about your leg. Can legs, we just talk about fine. it really quickly? Leg's fine, actually, yeah. I also feel like you've got a bad rap <laughs> when yeah. you were talking about the leg. I have an encyclopedia, encyclopedic <laughs> knowledge of this podcast, I'm afraid to say. <laughs> when you were talking about your leg before, yeah. you you painted it like Sunil had coerced a load of young female <laughs> comics into Thank a you. toilet to have a glimpse at his leg. But and actually, that is exactly what happened. The whole night, we were just going, Sunil, show us your leg. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go on, show us your oh, leg. Oh, so yeah. you were the creeps. It's uh, more women like can't be more creeps. freak show gorgeous. Women can't be creeps. <laughs> 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 I just wanted to see the leg. Yeah. I've heard but so then much she wasn't impressed by it. She was like, I've seen uh, homeless people with maggots in their legs. That's rubbish. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so Fair. just to answer your question, it's completely healed. Oh, yeah, I'm it's really fine. Thank to you. Hear that, mate. Yeah. It's been a long, tough year, but I'm back. God, it's, take, it's literally of, taken a year. It was ready. It was ready before Edinburgh, the leg. <laughs> For ready, what? You know what ready. I'm saying. <laughs> you know what? What I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> to do what? Walking about and that. Just leg shit. It's fucking leg shit, okay. you know? Uh, yes, just follow me on Twitter. I've been making an effort on Instagram. Thanks for noticing. Um, <laughs> Go and see her preview because Chloe is very funny. She's very, very funny. She's doing her first show next year. You're doing and your first show in Edinburgh next year? Yeah, 2020. I am excited. The year of the pets. 2020, the year of the pets and the Olympics. 
It's in the Olympics, is it? Well, isn't it? Don't no, know. I don't know. Well, no one will be watching because they'll be watching my show. Oh. Um, and thanks for coming in, Dottie. Thanks for coming in. Sunil um, would not like to recommend any other podcasts. Um, <laughs> check out Pounce on Fire on E4 at 9pm every Thursday. Also, Elliot and Sean's podcast, Elliot and Sean Read the Bible. Um, <laughs> <laughs> please check it out. Sorry for insulting the subject matter. Yeah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, please... Uh, we need to get to one million listeners by the end of this week, otherwise we're going to stop doing this podcast. Yeah. Thank you. And this doesn't come out for two weeks. Yeah. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.